I am holding on to faith Because I know you make a way And I don't always understand I don't always get to see But I will believe it I will believe it Cause you make mountains move You make giants fall You use songs of praise To shake prison walls And I will speak to my fear I will preach to my doubt That you were faithful then You'll be faithful now Good morning, Holy Spirit, for such a treasured day given to us. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us know that your Father is our Father and your God is our God. May your name be praised forever. Prince of Peace, fill us with your spirit so that we can be more effective and useful in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, Christ emerged from death tunnel, lifted a triumphant fist toward the sky and freed all from the fear of death. Death has been swallowed up in victory. The resurrection of Jesus is true. We worship a living Savior. We worship a living Lord and can live forever because He does. There is something about a living testimony that gives us Courage. Once we see someone emerging from life's dark tunnels, we realize that we too can overcome. But why do you think the disciples were afraid of the Jews and were mourning beyond locked doors? As John chapter 20 verse 19 tells us, for what reason or how come Jesus appears to the disciples behind locked doors in John chapter 20, verse 19 to 31? However, Jesus appears to them with comforting words. Peace be with you. Beloved, note that Jesus repeated this phrase in two other verses, possibly underscoring the fact that the disciples needed peace beyond the customary Hebrew shalom greetings at the time. 
but a great relief. Enjoy. The disciples had to see their master appearing to them in the midst of their sorrow. As John 20, 20 informs us by saying that when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw them. Similarly, our current world and America in particular, with many troubles and woes, as well as individuals, need the peace that Jesus offers. The impartation of the Holy Spirit by Jesus to his disciples on resurrection day was an infusing, infusing of the disciples for the first time with the regenerating presence of the Holy Spirit and with new life from the risen Lord, the risen Christ. During Jesus' last discussion or conversation with his disciples before his trial and crucifixion, he promised them that they will receive the Holy Spirit as the one who will generate them. He lives with you and will be in you, says the Lord Jesus in John chapter 14, verse 17. Jesus now fulfills that promise. What a special feeling of the Holy Spirit for the disciples. A foretaste of what all believers will experience from the time of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 and forever after. <laughs> to do God's work. Yes, we need the guidance and power of the Holy Spirit. Friends, we must avoid trying to do his work in our own strength. God's methodology versus human's methodology. It doesn't work that way. There is life in the breath of God. Man was created but did not come alive unto God breath and breath into him the breath of life as Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 tells us God's first breath made man different from all other forms of creation now through the breath of Jesus God imparted eternal spiritual life Beloved, with this inbreathing came the power to do God's will on earth. Jesus gave the assignment of spreading the good news of salvation to his disciples. My brother, my sister, we can preach the forgiveness of sin freely offered by Christ when we ourselves have experienced it. Yes, he equipped the disciples with the Holy Spirit for you and I to do God's work effectively. We need the power. We need the direction of the Holy Spirit. We need the presence of God. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you became a Christian? With that ostrich arms on the cross comes the invitation. Come receive the living water. Come to Jesus and drink for your eternal satisfaction an eternal life. Beloved, you need this experience. This same opportunity has been made available to every believer. 
Oh Lord God, fill us with your spirit so that we can be more effective and useful in your hands. Amen. Thanks for listening. Oh.